Hi everyone, so welcome to Investing for Value. So today I want to talk about Spotify. And if you just read this headline here, DC uh, superheroes is coming to your headphones at Spotify signs podcast deal, uh, which is massive when you consider um, this is kind of a very start of some really good unique content that's going to really um, go well with your users, right? So you're looking at Batman, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, and when you consider about 19% of your total monthly active users listen to podcasts, which is basically the new the, the new radio, because um, in the past you had radio, you turned it on, you listened to whatever came on. Now, now that everything can be like tailored made, you can find podcasts that suit topics that you like. Um, and when it comes to superheroes, who doesn't like Batman, Wonder Woman, or or Superman? And that kind of just really bods well because like you think about Netflix and Netflix um, They made a really big name for themselves when it came to documentaries and As much as like Netflix has the other content you can look at Spotify and think about it in the same way um, That they're basically their podcast situation is like Netflix's documentary uh, situation where if they do that really well, it keeps a lot of people on the platform because it just makes it that much more unique. Of course, other platforms will have podcasts, but they won't have these special ones. And by making more special podcasts, it really helps with the platform. Um, because right now, with their really popular music that's on their platform, they're lic licensing the, uh, the music and it's going to be more costly. Uh, whereas it makes more sense for them to just build more original content, keep it themselves, and over time um, people just keep staying on the platform just to keep listening to the original content. Um, not to mention, as we read here, Spotify, which has more than 1 million podcasts on its platform, has been adding muscle to its podcast category by inking several partnerships, including those with Joe Rogan and Kim Ta Kardashian West. So it's, you know, you can see here that this company is starting to make the inroads. Originally they were doing really well when it came to music. Um, but as you can see here, you know, the revenues can keep growing to 4 billion, 5 billion, 6 billion. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make that many inroads when it comes to the income. You know, it starts, it starts to um, build onto scale and like the losses get smaller. Um, but until they actually get their own original content, they're going to have to keep putting out this money and the margins are really, really thin for this company. As we can see here, cost of revenue, when they did 4 billion, cost was 3.2, when they did 5.2, it was 3.9, when it was 6.7, it was 5 billion. So recently it's gotten a lot better, but when you consider how, uh, you know, the minimal the margins were, in this stage here when it's like cost of revenues not to mention there's all these other expenses so like the operating expense which they haven't really incorporated at that stage and then when you do um yeah it doesn't look like a great situation where this company is going to be uh, a pr very profitable company going forward but they can start doing that when they start relying less on the licensing content that they need to get onto their platform in terms of music. And they can start doing better when they actually have unique content. Though they're going to have to restructure it so that the way the, the new content there is, like, it doesn't get old. If the content just gets old, you just have to keep refreshing. Uh, and that's one thing they have to kind of look, look at solving. Um, just like Netflix, Netflix has to constantly uh, produce content, but the more users they get onto the platform, uh, the more it just uh, bods well with them. And as you would have seen with Netflix share price, they've done really, really well. And I imagine the same thing is going to happen with um, Spotify in terms of the situation. So we look at Netflix, it's at close to two billion, $200 billion in terms of valuation. And in the past few years they've done fairly well for their users well for the shareholders you're going from like ninety dollars to right now about four hundred and fifty dollars so and when it comes to value netflix is um showing how it's really really well you know really built uh, and when you look at spotify it's going to be a very similar situation um originally you had here where it's like close to that 190 mark 
um, and then it comes down quite a bit because everyone's just wondering what's Spotify's real value proposition because if you're just licensing things you're just in a sense a middleman whereas right now they're, they're building themselves in a more unique situation where they're owning their own content um, and heading towards that Netflix type model where it can start to propel them and give them better margins and you hope that would be the case as things continue to build on because or else we just find ourselves in a bit of limbo when it comes to the stock price because yeah like you need to know where that value proposition is particularly when you're looking at a 41 billion dollar company but if they can beat a Netflix of audio then yeah it wouldn't be too bad and I imagine it will be able to keep growing in the future though I don't think at the same rate because at the end of the day Netflix once they make um, say like a TV show or a movie people just continue to watch it but I don't feel like that's the same thing with podcasts you don't really continue to listen to the same podcast as you go unless the content is done in a way that's uh, timeless but I don't really see it that way I, I feel like music is still the inroads it's kind of like Netflix of documentaries you don't really watch documentaries over and over that often but you will watch TV shows and movies a lot more and the same thing with Spotify they still have to make more inroads when it comes to their music content and currently building out the podcast content just uh, helps with that stickiness for the users to continue to stay subscribed and still using their platform um, so that's more the case and you know their share price did jump on this, this announcement and I, can, I think it's continue, it will continue to do really well especially in this current situation where people are bored they're looking for content in terms of audio, visuals um, and you know Spotify is in a really good situation where it's got that platform it just has to find the content to really fill out that platform and make it really engaging for its users uh, so let me know what your thoughts are on Spotify and where it's heading in the future and also this um, pretty decent deal that I've just inked um, and if you have any questions about this or any questions about other companies uh, feel free to let me know until then good luck investing everyone